If you're looking to buy coins, check out Instant FIFA in the description below and use the discount code T-Ray for a 5% discount. That is all one word and it is case sensitive. What is up guys, T-Ray all day back for another episode of my Olympic Lene career mode. This is season 1 episode 15 I believe now as we take on Lil for the first episode, uh, first game of this episode, what am I talking about? Um, Lil I believe sit around like 6th in the table right now, we sit around 10th so it would be nice to be able to pick up some points and uh, make the teams in front of us drop points and yes I was right we currently do sit in 10th and as you can see we take on Sociedad in the next game of this episode. Uh, we beat them 3-0 in the last time, uh, in the last episode, I believe it was, and, uh, yeah, I, it's very unlikely that they're gonna uh, be going, uh, through, but you can see Memphis Depay there, he's on three goals, and, uh, I believe two assists since coming to Line from, uh, PSB, so he's been freaking fantastic so far, easily my best signing, maybe Prisuela's better, but... Uh, in the 11th minute now, Benzi is pushing forward. He chips it over to Depay, and bang, that's in the back of the net. Already in just the 11th minute, Memphis Depay doing a nice little celebration there. And uh, that's his fourth goal in all competitions now. Easily, it's Depay and off. Uh, I was debating putting that as the title of this video, but decided not to. And uh, yeah, Depay and off. It's Depay and off, all right. With it. That was a great goal. Great pass from Benzia. Benzia probably could have went for the shot. He has, you know, pretty decent finishing. Probably could have scored, but... Uh, he tried to be unselfish there and just chipped it over to Depay, who easily finished in the bottom left corner. But we're starting from kickoff now as uh, Belmont's on the ball. Passes over to Ryan Mendez uh, playing on the wing. Brizuela's pushing back, but Mendez is still pushing forward around my defense. Finds Idrissa Gay, pushes forward to Antonio Mavuba, and uh, it's blocked nicely by Zeeler, but Gay just puts it in the back of the net. Sadly for us. We had just barely scored, but they start from kickoff and go all the way down and score for themselves. We're already tied at 1-1 in this fantastic game this episode. Easily the best game this episode. And uh, yeah, it wasn't a great start for us, but uh, just looking right here, Zeeler made a great save with his foot, but he couldn't go back in time. Gay's easily going to put that in the open net, but... Um, from a little break here, Benzia pushing forward in the 23rd minute. He has an opening, trying to round the keeper, chips it over him, and oh, what a freaking block from uh, Beria there as they have a corner in the 31st minute. Belmont passes inside to Ryan Mendez, tries to go around my defense. Brizuela takes away, but Mendez takes it right back. Belmont, the former Lyon youth squad member, pushing forward on the left wing is Depay's just trying to get the ball back. Mendez on the ball now, faking out my defense. Passes to Belmont, inside to Idrissa Gay as it's taken away. Brizuela on the ball now, we have a counter attack. This whole game was basically counter attacks for our side. As a Brizuela's on the ball, puts it forward to Sylvain Marvo, pushing forward, bang, no, oh, so, so close. But we're in the uh, 39th minute now, as Idrissa Ganagay is on the ball and pushing forward once again. He's been a uh, great influence in this game for Lille. Uh, we're in the 40th minute now as Memphis to pay uh, from Gorkoop. Gorkoop chips it over the top to Lucas Ocampos. He sees to pay, puts it over to him, and sadly, sadly, it's saved once again as Benzia's on the ball as it goes over to Sylvan Marvo. Working wrong that left wing, and it goes out for a corner in our favor. And uh, I believe Marvo's going to take this one. Yes, he does, as we have men in the box for this one. In the 43rd minute, crosses inside. Ooh, Titi gets his head to that one, and that's in the back of the net. We are already up once again in the 43rd minute. We are still in the first half. What a goal from Samuel Umtiti. I thought it was going to go over, to be honest, but it just barely hit the roof of the net and curved around the um, around the net. It was pretty sick. Uh, looking at that, looking at the replay here, Marvo crosses inside. Umtiti pushes forward, and what a goal that was, just rounding across the net. And uh, I guess I show another replay here. I usually only, sh only show one, uh, but it was a great goal nonetheless. We're starting from kickoff now. It's a rebid Peralta, starts it off, passes to Ronnie Rodolin, finds Antonio Mavuba, finds Ryan Mendez, pushing forward now on the ball as uh, Benzia is working to get the ball back with Memphis Depay. Benzia chips it over the top to Memphis Depay, cuts inside, takes a step, takes a shot, and that's in the back of the net. 3-1 in the 45th minute, just before halftime, scoring two goals, and that's fantastic from Depay, who now has five goals in all competitions. It is definitely Depay and off, and... Um, we only got him for like 8 million too, so that's a pretty good deal. Considering we got Ocampos for like, what, 7? And he hasn't been that great. The pay's been fantastic. So I strongly recommend you get him. He's basically, in my opinion, 
a very cheap Marco Royce, and uh, I, I seriously mean that. Very, very cheap Marco Royce, and uh, even an Ultimate Team, uh, he's only a little bit cheaper in Ultimate Team because people realize that he's a freaking beast. But and we're starting in halftime now. Zealer almost makes a bad mistake. I almost make a bad mistake as um, they barely miss that one. Zealer forced to make a save. I believe he made a save. No, Peralta just banged it wide. That was awful, awful. I don't know how he didn't make a better opportunity than that. I guess he just got nervous there as Zealer made a bad mistake there. As uh, Belmont, I believe, is going to step up to take this. Yes, it is Belmont. Take this corner kick for Leal. Whips it in, and Marco Basha could not get his head to that before Ocampo. So as it goes to Mavuba, whips it in. Gorkuf sends it wide, but it only goes to Marco Basha. Who sends it forward to Ryan Mendez, finds Belmont. Belmont sends it forward um, well, Bal to Belmont, and uh, he puts it in the back of the net. We are now down 2-3. That was a bad mistake. It all started from my mistake, um, sending it back to the keeper, and he didn't clear it in time. Went to a corner, and they were able to score. Uh, yeah, that was, <laughs> I, I still can't believe that just happened, but uh, looking at that there, Belmont's never going to finish, uh, never going to miss that one, he's always going to finish that one, easy opportunity for him, but we're in the 68th minute now, wish it was 69th, Benzia pushes forward to Ocampo, so Campos, don't know how he didn't make a better effort to put that on target than that, tried to curve it around the keeper, at least make a better effort than that, but look at this right here, he just, like, how, how the hell do you even do that, that was awful, but we're in the 87th minute now as Brizuela tries to take it away. Gonalon sends it forward to Lucas Ocampos. He finds Benzia. There's a run being made. It's from Memphis to pay as uh, Suare is able to get that easily. Barry on the ball now. We still can't take it away. In the 89th minute, could we get aged, aged over as De La Plesse sends it forward to Ronnie Rodolin on the right wing. He could cross inside. Tries to cross inside. Peralta's there, but Zeeler's able to get it easily. You can see there's three minutes of stoppage time there on the clock. Um, so we just need to keep clearing it away. Possibly the ref should have blew his whistle there, but they're going to have one last attack here. Suarez on the ball. Passes back to De La Plesse. Ref, blow your whistle. Come on, bro. Passes out wide to Suare on the left wing. It goes out for a throw-in. Why hasn't the ref blown his whistle yet? Suare passes inside to De La Plesse. Finds Ryan Mendez. Ryan Mendez passes back again. Ref, blow your whistle. You do that to me all the time. Peralta. Brizuela clears once again. Ref, why haven't you blown your whistle? Basha pushes forward to Arribe Peralta. Peralta pushing forward. He's being fouled. Makes a quick cut. Passes inside to Ronnie Rodolin. Crosses over. Peralta puts that in the back of the net. Why didn't the ref blow his whistle is my only question. Why the hell did the ref not blow his whistle? They do that to me all the time. Why can't they just do it to them? We easily had a 3-2 win against Lille that would help us go up. And as you can see, Peralta scored in the 96th minute when there was three minutes of stoppage time. I seriously doubt the ref would double his stoppage time just so that they can get a goal. That is complete and utter bullshit. And you can see Johan Gorkouf got injured in that game. He's out for three weeks. Complete, more complete utter bullshit is that we lose one of our best players as we're coming up against Real Sociedad in this one. We're playing, I believe, only like four younger players. You can see Saar, uh, Playa as well, uh, Russell Tabert, and yeah, that's basically the only younger people in there. We also got Anthony Lopez in there as well because, you know, he could use the game, and since we basically already have this one in the bag, it's, yeah, he, he can play in this one. It, it's not a, that big of a deal, and other than that, it's basically our normal lineup. We got Depay in there as well, Muniain, and Umtiti, Gunalons as uh, we kick off this game. They need to get three goals and hope we don't get one just for them to have a chance as Griezmann's on the ball. Passes forward to Aguirreche. Aguirreche could not find Vela, but Vela somehow gets the ball back anyway. Takes a shot, and Lopez is forced to make a great save as it goes to Xabi Prieto. He could take a shot and another great save from Lopez. Um, I guess showing me why I shouldn't have uh, bought Zeeler, but Zeeler's been fantastic, so he can kind of F off, but uh, we have a counterattack here in the 11th minute as Russell Tabor, the Canadian, chips it over to Jeremy Menez, our joint top scorer, a nice Burba spin inside, takes a shot, oh, just, just, just wide, uh, almost a great goal from Jeremy Menez, another counterattack goal for us would have been great, but... Uh, we're in the 14th minute now as Memphis Depay finds Russell Tabor. It chips it over the top to Menez. Menez! Oh, just wide. Once again from the Frenchman. Guess he just wasn't informed for this game. Unlucky for us, but uh, either way, we were uh, still winning on aggregate 3-0. As uh, Aggie Rage is on the ball in the 25th minute now. Goes inside the box. Crossover. I don't know why he didn't cross. He decided to shoot, I guess. Uh, but a bad clearance there. And we finally get it out. 
Um, uh, that was very, very lucky for us, but Gunnelon's on the ball, ball now, finds... Ah, uh, gosh, just... Uh, what, 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 I had trouble talking there, but what, what the hell was that from Javi Prieto? I have no idea. I guess, you know, my bad talking abilities right there kind of sums up his effort there. As Umtiti goes down in the box, no penalty for that one. Kind of unlucky in our part, but in this 69th minute slash 70th minute now, Carlos Vela whips it over to Harris Seferovic, and he puts it in the back of the net. They're back in the game, maybe. They only have 20 minutes left. Perhaps they can come back in the game from a great goal from, I believe he's, uh, I, I actually don't know his nationality, but um, I, I do know he played for Fiorentina at one point, but nevertheless, it was a great goal from Harris Seferovic is uh, they are back in the game with one goal, but we're in the 89th minute now as Carlos Vela's on the ball. He spins around my defender, finds Harris Seferovic, cutting inside, takes a shot, and that went just wide. He almost had a brace in that game. Would have been a great goal, and they would have had one minute to come back inside, come back in time, but it wasn't meant to be as we go on to win one nothing, and uh, we are still advancing in the Europa League, but looking at the groups there, you can see we're taking on Marseille in uh, the Coupe de League final. Champions League, that's pretty interesting results, especially Locomotive beating Barcelona 1-0. That one was really surprising. Other than that, it's kind of, yeah, you kind of expect it, except maybe Shakhtar tying with Real Madrid. That one you don't really see, but other than that, it seems all right. We take on Roma in the round of 16 in the Europa League next. I don't know when the first game is. I think it's next episode, um, if I'm not mistaken, but some pretty, you know, grasshopper making it into the round of 16 is kind of surprising. But other than that, it's what you would expect. Um, we got Everton and Tottenham and Liverpool and Arsenal facing off, which is weird. Um, four English teams facing off against each other. But you can see Didion, uh the Youth Monthly Squad Report. He looks freaking fantastic. He's going to be a freaking beast. Uh, Ayart's already 17 years old, so I might have to sign him soon. Uh, sadly, because his overall is not that great yet. But uh, he looks pretty decent as well. Not as good as Dion, but he's... Still looks like a freaking beast. Looking at his stats here, sprint speed doesn't look like it's going to be that high, but uh, maybe after that boost. And uh, Umtiti still looks like crap, but I'm still going to sign him anyway because that would just be freaking sweet. Maybe just loan him out and uh, maybe sell him, but uh, it would still be pretty cool to sign him and get him in the game. And uh, yeah, that's that's our only youth players we have at the moment. I don't think I've sent out a scout since. Uh, but Dion looks freaking amazing as we take on Montpellier. And as you can see on the right, uh, Arnold Muvuemba is coming back to face us at the Stade de Lons. Um, I can't imagine the fans being too upset with him because it was my choice to sell him. He didn't want to leave anyway. And uh, he's a great player in real life in this game. I've never had that much uh, fun with him. He's great in real life. He's a great technical player, always good on the ball, uh, great with free kicks and that kind of stuff. But... Uh, we're taking on Montpellier at home now, home of Remy Cabela, who almost went to Newcastle in January, possibly the summer, but their chairman or slash president is kind of a freaking douche and said that <laughs> if he was going to leave, he was going to go to a big club, and that was just kind of a slap in the face, and as you can see, Mubawimba there uh, doesn't have hair in this game for whatever reason, it has hair in real life, but it kind of looks like it, well, that's kind of like the first uh, player I've seen that actually looks like him, like Depay looks nothing like he does in real life in this game, but uh, move one, but looks like him a lot as uh, we start the game off here. Um, just looking at the scene, get the scene set for this one. We are at home, we need to pick up points in the league as we start in the 16th minute now as Isaac Brizuela's on the ball, a nice burp has been inside, passes over to Alexander Lacazette, finds Fofana, we're on a great run here, finds Jeremy Menez, our joint top scorer, pushing outside to the left wing as he is a left winger now, cuts inside with the Burvisman, has an opening, takes a shot, and oh my god, I could not believe that he just made that dud happen from a great run, started from our uh, started from our defense, but in the 23rd minute now, Isaac Brizuela, the Mexican maestro, pushing forward on the right wing, we have men going in the middle, takes a shot, goes near post, and that almost crept into the back of the net, would have been a great shot, would have been a great goal from Isaac Brizuela, as we have a corner, uh, from that opportunity as Gondolans gets his head to it and puts it in the back of the net for us, the captain getting the goal in, for this one. And that was a pretty decent goal as well. Uh, he kind of just lunged forward, got his head to it, and uh, yeah, he's captain for this game because Grenier is not in as we kind of have a little bit of a younger side as well with Tabor and, well, I guess Tabor's still a young one in right now, but Fofana and uh, Marvo usually don't play, or El Campos, but uh, you saw uh, Joris Marvo on the ball there, Sylvain Marvo's brother, uh, older brother, gets the ball dispossessed by Brizuela, and oh, I don't know how that wasn't a penalty, kind of iffy challenge there, possibly should have been one, but 
it was not meant to be as uh, Sylvain Marvo's older brother made a mistake there, almost caused him a goal. Uh, but And we're in the 39th minute now as Tabor passes wide to Jeremy Menez, pushing forward. Uh, does a nice Burba spin inside. A nice heel to heel flick, has an opportunity, takes a shot. Ooh, and that was a pretty nice save from Judrin there uh, to stop Jeremy Menez's shot. As we're in the 42nd minute now, Russell Tabor pushing outside. And uh, does a nice little rainbow flick there. Able to get back on the ball anyway. Passes inside to Alexander Lacazette as uh, he tries to work his way around the defense. It goes to, uh, still on still on the ball, Guido Fofana working around the defense. Cuts inside, takes a shot, back the net. He does have nice long shots in his stats, so he, really you, you can expect that from him. I don't think he's had any shots with his feet this whole year. I believe he has like one with his head. Uh, so, you know, that was a pretty great goal from him there. Gave him an opportunity. Thought I'd take a shot just right there. See what happens. Went in the back of the net. In our favor. Fantastic. We're in the 49th minute now. Move one, but passes forward to Bakar. Bakar now still on the ball. I don't know why he's going backwards. What the hell is he doing? Passes forward. No. Uh, somehow, Marvo still ended up with the ball anyway. Passes uh, back to Bakar. Bakar finds Stambouli. He finds uh, Tinhan. Tinhan still on the ball. And, uh, I just... Why didn't you cross there, Tin Han? I mean, if you wanted to score, you probably should have crossed as we look at the replay here. Uh, but we're in the 52nd minute from the corner from that uh, play there as it goes to Hilton now. Hilton could take a shot. Passes uh, to Marvo as Gondolans makes a great save as Hilton still on the ball. Passes to Marvo and uh, Munier could not put that on target. Very, very unlucky for them. They had an open net there. Very surprised that Munier couldn't put that on target, but... Uh, nevertheless, it wasn't meant to be. Just looking at the replay here, how oh, how did he not do better there? As we're in the 68th minute now, let's move Wemba whips one in from a free kick, and Niang couldn't get his head to it, but Kardex on the ball, cuts inside, passes over to Niang, and he could not put that in the back of the net. The man on loan from AC Milan, Montpellier decided not to buy him from AC Milan with their little loan agreement thing. Uh, but we're in the 77th minute now, Fafan on the ball, passes Lacazette, and that's in the back of the net. Woo! Our long shots in this game have been fantastic. And uh, we are now up 3-0. We put it in the bag in the 77th minute from a great goal from uh, Alexander Lacazette. He was back from injury. He's been pretty good since he's come back from injury. He hasn't been bad, hasn't been great. Uh, but we were still able to come out with a 3-0 win. Hopefully this helps us propel our way back up the table and back into some sort of Europe competition. Uh, doesn't look very likely at the moment, but perhaps it can happen. But as you can see, we're taking on Bordeaux. For the next game in the next episode and uh, I believe yeah we did beat them in the last time it was in the Coupe de League semi-final um, but yeah this is gonna be the end of the episode guys so please like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this it really helps my channel grow it means a lot please leave a comment in the comments below I love reading comments and uh, yeah I'll see you guys next time I'm out